You can walk into a school and you can know in a matter of minutes whether or not the culture is right and the school is mission aligned. Everything else flows out of that. Good morning, Daisy May. How are we this morning? Good. Our mission is to train the minds and to improve the hearts of our students through a classical content-rich curriculum that emphasizes virtuous living, traditional learning, and civic responsibility. Good morning, first grade. Hillsdale Charter Schools are classical charter schools. And what that means is they bring a well-rounded liberal arts curriculum, great teaching, and a sense of mission and purpose to average American kids. We start every day with every scholar, every faculty member reciting our mission all together as a reminder that this is what we came to do. We came to train minds and to improve hearts. Good morning, Jacksonville Classical Academy Argonauts. All together, the pillars of virtue. Courage, honesty, perseverance, self-government, service, courtesy, responsibility. Have a wonderful final day before spring break, Argonauts. Using the word classical encourages us to remember that we're doing basic things here. We're doing things that are common to all human beings. That's a superb place to start. And so classical philosophy is interested in what things are and the good appropriate to them. The one thing that a classical education emphasizes that other educations do not is the learning for the sake of learning. In order to appropriately educate a child, you must speak to more than just the academic part of a child. It's not just about knowing things. Education should be so much more than that. It should be about the formation of character. And that idea was embedded in early K-12 education. Character formation, forming a whole human being, this is what education was understood to be back then. As you walk around the hallways, there ought to be respect for teachers. There ought to be kindness towards students. There ought to be happiness and a sense of wonder. There ought to be activity and engagement and discourse and the pursuit of knowledge, the pursuit of truth. The reason why I think classical education is the best is because it draws on a long tradition within Western civilization. We give students a really robust, exciting, rich education. We don't restrict ourselves to the minimum standards of the state. We want to trace the greatest ideas that have ever been a part of the human experience. And so we read the great works and we study the thoughts that have been propagated across Western civilization in order to unpack those questions. What we do in government class is we read the Constitution. We read Madison's notes on the Constitution. We read the Federalist Papers, which gives the rationale behind the provisions in the Constitution. And we read the Declaration of Independence, which gives us the political theory that informed the Constitution. These are 12-year-olds that have now read the two most important founding documents of our country in full, and they have their fully annotated copies of them. We are giving them a buffet of the most amazing books of antiquity, looking at things that have stood the test of time. When I'm going through those tough texts, or when I'm struggling to read those novels, it is very encouraging to know that I have someone who's going alongside me with them. Rather than clearing a path free of those obstacles, we want to be there to support them and to show them how much there is to be gained by overcoming those obstacles. But acknowledging that the perseverance and the courage that it takes to sit in that moment when you're struggling is so beautiful and does more for the character of their heart than anything else they're going to learn in that moment. When you wake up in the morning as a, as a grown-up and you look out on the world and are worried or anxious or concerned, it's not your college and career readiness that's going to make it through the day. It's your ability to be optimistic, to have faith that things are going to go well, to have courage to make the tough decisions that you know are right. They want to teach your children how to think. 
They want to teach your children the importance of who they are in the world. And that's very important that we do that so that we can help continue to grow and develop them to become passionate people who are making a difference and serving the country and the communities that they live in. So how do you become what you become? Uh, practice. Aristotle says you form your character by making choices, and especially the hard choices are formative. In the end, what we like to say is these well-rounded human beings that have been truly exposed to a rich and deep liberal arts and science education, they will be prepared to do anything. Here at Hillsdale College, we're a teaching organization, and the K-12 office is no exception. We teach people how to establish and maintain excellent classical schools, focusing on five areas, board governance, school leadership, curriculum, classical teaching, and school culture. The college now works with local schools and provides them the background information, recommendation, even helps uh, connect them with the people who they need in order to run these schools. What they offer is a philosophy, resources, a curriculum scope and sequence to help guide teachers in the carrying out of each school's mission. The primary work with Hillsdale College is teachers and how they can improve their practice in the classroom and then the curriculum, right? The curriculum is the soul of the, of the school. When a school like ours opens, Hillsdale sends a team of curricular experts, teacher coaches, professors, and those folks spend about two weeks with the faculty getting it ready to teach. They are absolutely passionate about helping teachers in their classrooms. What they actually do is just offer really good advice. So not only do I feel challenged as a teacher to be my very best for these kids, but I also feel like I have the best behind me. I can get on a Zoom call and speak with the people who are helping with the literature or the literacy in Hillsdale, and I can be connected to different schools in the United States, and we're all talking about what's going on in our schools. So it, it's really an amazing all-around package of in-kind support that we don't pay anything for. Our job is to help the schools be great, and we ask them for nothing and everything in return. Our advice is free. But it's also really expensive because all we ask in return is that you do an excellent job. <laughs> the K-12 initiative fills a huge gap in our nation's education system because what we need are thoughtful, informed people who are not just educated to be money makers, but who are educated to become fathers and mothers and leaders. In an obvious way, education is the future, but it's also the present. we say to the young and how we treat them, that's as important a thing as we do in life. The most rewarding part of my job is seeing lives changed. Most of the families have come here for a reason. They want something better. They want something more complete for their children. We're providing an oasis for many of our scholars. It's a place where they are guaranteed to be safe, they're guaranteed to be loved, uh, and teachers who care. That to me is invaluable. I mean, there's nothing more important as a parent than to know that you've given them that. One of the main reasons that I love it here is the relationship between teachers and students. Students, what does service mean? Here at Treasure Valley Classical Academy, I read to the littles. I read stories to them every single day. I get to meet them. I get to interact with them. I get to check uniforms. I get to have conversations with them. I get to see the ones that are sad, and I get to follow up with them and sit down next to them and, and try to figure out what is bothering them or what has gone wrong in their lives. Their curiosity, their pursuit of knowledge, uh, the ability to help them to ask questions that they wouldn't have asked before, those are things that they might not remember, but what I won't forget is that. To be pulled towards helping more kids is why I ended up coming here. This school and the education that's offered in this city will change lives. The work is so important. 
That's why I'm here. I, I don't know that I could do anything other than this. Uh, this is what I love and where I belong. Our ambition is to sow the future seeds of liberty with the formation of human beings into citizens that will nourish this experiment with liberty that we've been bequeathed. If we can improve the schools, we will improve the future of the country and we will improve ourselves. Then we can turn the tide. My greatest hope for our students is that they will one day look back and say that they have lived a life worth living. And by that point, have had a direct role in perpetuating the American experiment with liberty.